We're dying of thirst. This spring is a good omen. Where there's water, there's opportunity. And where there's opportunity, there's our new life. Let 1808 be our best year yet. To the tux. To, to the, the tux. tux.
Live like this. Live like this. Live like this. Live like this. Forever. Today's a new town. And a new one tomorrow. My whole life been void about traveling there. You may wonder why. This old Barker box on It's the trail no one knows I've stumbled upon <laughs> Let this be the day That's how I learned the secret And find who holds the key To what I'm looking for I will knock on every door and tree New Hampshire to live like this, live like this forever. Let this be the day where something will something happen. Will happen. back on. Oh, Betsy. I told you she'd never let us have any fun. Oh, well, we have fun every day. With your potato peeling, Betsy, we want cotton candy. <laughs> Father would have taken me to the fair. I know, but things are different now. And if you won't be a good girl for me, at least try to be a good girl for him. Yes, Mother. Good girl. Oh, 
to know our noble things. Why, I can t t uh, guess a young girl's age just by looking into her eyes. For instance, your sister here is probably... Uh, ageless. Ageless indeed, with the spunk of a schoolgirl. I sure do feel like one. Why, I'd live forever if I could. We have something in common. i do anything to live forever, and I do mean anything. Would you? Well, would you? It was just an expression. To you, perhaps. Now, I don't suppose you've seen anybody strange around here recently. What do you mean, strange? Oh, been up and down the state looking for a highly unusual family. You used to live here in Trigaf some time ago. I don't recall seeing anyone unusual until today. <laughs> me, is there something I can help you with? Oh, no, pardon me. Just spread the word about the fair. Is it as fun as it used to be? Oh. Nothing is as fun as it used to be. You can say that again. Nothing is as fun as it used to be. <laughs> that tune, do you hear it? Yes, I've heard that very melody on and off my whole life. It's beautiful, and it always comes from our wood. Oh, your wood, you say? Yes, she did. Oh, well, I'll keep that in mind. As much as I'd love to stay, ladies, a man only has so much time on his hands. Where do you find a suit that color? And why would you buy it? <laughs> Don't you see, Mother? It's a sign. We can go to the fair just like we used to. No, and that is the final answer. But, Mother... No more buts. The world is a dangerous place, Winifred, and it is my job alone to protect For you. For what? Having fun? That is enough! Go inside and change your dress and your attitude. No, I hate you and I hate your rules. Winnie. Betsy, let her be. She'll come back in when she's ready to apologize. <laughs> Told you that. <laughs> Why should I apologize? I don't want to be good. I want to be daring. I wish I could go with you. With a cage for a yard, only mope and... When the front door shuts, should a gate open? If I don't leave now, I'll only wish I had. But I know good without trying bad. Think I'd never see my wood. I've got to get out while the getting's good. Toad, wait for me.
Excuse me, are you lost? That's exactly what I was going to ask. Look, you shouldn't be here, not right now. But these are my woods. I don't care whose woods these are. It's not safe for you to be here. You're not old enough to boss me. <laughs> Believe me, I am. Oh, really? How old are you? Let's just say I'm 17. Oh, that is old. You have no idea. <laughs> Wait, where do you think you're going? I'm thirsty. I'm getting a drink from that spring. No, like no, you, you saw me drink. You have to leave now. But it's just water. No, no. When little girls drink from this spring, they turn into... Toads. Nice try. I happen to know that toad. In fact, it's my toad. Well, now that you mention it, I do see the resemblance. <laughs> you're very odd. Jesse Tuck, how do you? Winnie Foster. I just ran away from home. <laughs> and how's that going? So far, just a bunch of trees. Just a bunch of trees? Winnie Foster, you own these woods, and you don't even know what you got. Follow me. Where are we going? Up. Up? Right now? There's no point in running away if you don't make an adventure out of it. Good point. Well, I hope you're not afraid of heights. Only one way to find out. Watch my every step. Find a sturdy branch. Don't you dare look down. Pull your body up, dig in your heels. Let's see what this tree reveals. Just a few more feet, you're almost at the top. Watch that robin's nest. Pull your body up till you've broken through. Let's see if this tree has a view. At the top, at the top, at the top of the world, you're drawing back a curtain. At the top, at the top, at the top of the world There you know for certain You're alive And you are free So follow me To the top of the world Everything looks so different up here Oh, you haven't seen the half of it Don't you ever get afraid? Well, if you aren't afraid, you aren't alive A mountain to the west an ocean to the north, a storm cloud to the east, ready to pour every sycamore, leaves me wanting more and more. At the top, at the top, at the top of the world, my head and heart are pounding. At the top, at the top, at the top of the world, I hear my voice resounding. I'm alive, and I am free, so look at Type of wire for the highest height. Yes, I'll risk it all. Give me a barrel. Yes, who'll find a waterfall? At the top, at the top, at the top of the world, my head and heart are pounding. At the top, at the top, at the top of the world, I hear my voice resounding. I'm alive and I am free. So look at Are you trying to get us caught? Niles, you know me. It's just... Yeah, a... yeah, I know. A nervous habit. I know. Hey, can I have a proper hello here? It's great to see you, Ma. You're as pretty as ever. And you don't look a day over 105. Ah, oh, funny. Some days I actually pray I'm going to wake up with a gray hair and a pot belly. Speaking of your father, he's back at the cabin getting everything ready for your visit. Honey, he always comes to see us. He isn't quite himself these days. 
But he'll perk right back up once he sees that his boys are home. Well, I assume Jesse's running late as usual. It has been ten years since we have had this visit, Miles. Another ten minutes won't kill us. You got that right. Hmm. <gasps> oh, Jesse! Oh, oh, my sweet boy! <laughs> oh, the one who still hugs me. Ma, Ma, I have something to tell you. You can tell us when we get back to the cabin. You know, this isn't a safe place to linger. Oh, it's great to be reunited, Miles. I see you're still playing in trees. I see you still can't take hey, a joke. Boys. Ma, Jesse, Jesse, you were trying to tell me something. Okay, well, so, hear me out. You know how you say good things always come in small packages? Hello! Not yet! We climbed a tree. I saw the top of my house. It was great. <laughs> she followed me home. Can we keep her? A child? I always knew the day would come when somebody would discover us, but a child? I thought you said they'd like me. She's not just a child, she's also my friend. Then please tell me your friend doesn't know anything about the, you know? The water? Oh boy. Jesse! Jesse, you told her about the water! This isn't my fault! It never is. Ma, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Unfortunately, yes. <clears throat> Please know that as a mother, I do not approve of what we are about to do. <coughs> Let's get her back to the cabin. Paul will know what to do. Winnie, are you okay? <coughs> oh, she can scream. She can breathe. Winnie, it'll be okay. I'll explain everything at home. <laughs> Big day. First case. Girls gone. No trace. Small town. No crime. Now tree gaps hit the big time. What's this? Fresh tracks. Who's there? <gasps> Relax. Footprints. Size nine. A glue. Yahoo! No, those are mine. No dirty deed. Goes exactly as planned. Look, that's what it says in my deputy handbook. Even the best crook leaves you a clue. You go. You know what to do. You go. There you are. I told you not to get ahead of me. It's been your best, Mrs. Person's case. I recommend you keep your eyes open and your mouth closed. Shall we practice? No, I think I got it. See, that was a test. You just failed. No. That's it, boss. I got your message about winning. Came as fast as I could. Fast as molasses. Mother, please. I'm so worried, Joe. We all are. Hugo! Is that an old nose? Is Hugo trying to be my new deputy? I feel safer already. Hello, Hugo. Hello, Mrs. Foster. You look lovely, despite, well, everything. First day on the job. Joe, when he's been missing since this morning, we found the gate wide open. Huh. Suspicious. Maybe she ran away. You go. When I want your opinion, I'll ask for one. Maybe she ran away. <laughs> well, if she did, it's all my fault. I wouldn't even take her to the fair. No fair? Well, now, I don't mean to alarm you, but those people can be... Trixie. Who? Meaning not to be trusted. You go. Well, have a look around. Please find her, Joe. I can't bear the thought of losing anyone else. Don't worry, Betsy. I got the best man on the job. Me! If you hear a melody coming from our wood, follow that tune. Thanks for the tip. Yeah, sounds like you really crack the case. House call adjourned. Leave no stone unturned. Flip here, flip there. These flipping things are everywhere. Don't give up now, search Granny and Nook. That's what it says in my deputy handbook. No, that's not it. No, that's my lunch. Where could it be? Big day, go chuck, young girl, my book. You go! Get a clue and let's get on with it. Will you make deputy? Angus! Angus, but... 
Angus, wake yeah. up. Jesse met somebody at the spring. Yeah. Do they know? Do they know the secret? Long time no see, Pa. Hope you're in a good mood. Jesse, what'd you get us into this time? <sighs> Here, Pa. It finally happened. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. A child? That's exactly what I said. Winnie, nobody's gonna hurt you. I can't believe you tricked me. I trusted you. We climbed a tree. Does she... Does she you know? Know about the water? Only that it is special, but she didn't drink any, so everything is okay. This is Winnie Foster. Winnie Foster, this is my father, Angus. He's usually in close. Not true. A foster? From Tree Gap? Your great-grandfather and I used to fish together. It's a pleasure to meet you. Don't you want to shake my hand? No. I want to bite it. That's what my father always told me to do if anyone ever tried to kidnap me. Oh, no, Winnie. This isn't kidnapping. Technically, honey. Well, if you just let us explain... That's a bad idea. As I've always said, if anybody ever finds out about us... Hey, this is different, <gasps> Miles. This is a child. A child changes everything. Winnie Foster, I give you my word we're not going to harm you. Please don't bite me. Can I please just go home? Her mother must be this worried. This is ridiculous. Sick. So now what? Paul know what to do. Right, Paul? Of course I know what to do. Where are my boots? No, where are my pants? Where are you going? Fishing. Fishing, why? We have a guest. We need a meal. So much for Pa knowing what to do. Miles, I'm Boys, warning you. Just let him go. I am so happy to see that man is excited about something for once because all he has done for the last ten years is lie on that couch and wait for you two to come home. Welcome back, boys. I've missed the sound of you fighting. Well, if Pa doesn't know what to do, that means it's up to us. You've been gone ten years? But you're only seventeen. I'm so confused. Ma, let's just tell the truth about oh, the water. Oh, let's just not. Miles, please. I mean, like Jesse said, if Pa doesn't know what to do... It's up to us. Winnie, are you ready to hear the biggest secret ever? The real question is, is she ready to keep it? How do we know she's not just going to run and tell everyone? She knows too much already not to tell her everything now. I guess we'll just have to trust her. Go ahead, Mom. Once upon a time, once upon a time, can I start like that? Shouldn't start like that. Be patient with me, Winnie. I've never told this before. Once there was a man, a man with a wife and a family. That smiles at me. Jesse, let me tell the story. I don't want to start a war. We tore from the west to settle in the east, looking for a farm, some land at least. Get to the part where I fall from the tree. No, you've got it all wrong. Miles, yes. Then we found a wood. Yes, we found a wood. Can you guess which wood? Mike. You're good. Where we found ourselves a clearing and camped for the night. Just the four of us. Plus the cat and the horse. They played a crucial part. Yes, Miles, of course. We slept by a spring near an old ash tree. And that's where I carved a tea. Jesse. In the morning, in the morning. We had no way of knowing, without even thinking, we drank from the spring. Who knew that spring would change everything? Except for the horse, everybody drank, even the cat. Remember that. You can lead a horse to water. I think she knows the phrase. Well, days went by, then months and years in an ordinary life. So it appears. The old horse died at 25. Still alive. We weren't changing. We weren't changing. We weren't changing. We had no way of knowing. And nobody was thinking. It's because of the spring. Who knew that spring would change everything? The town began to talk. We looked at each other. We were here. So outraged. No. We hadn't aged our lives. Lies and bias. And our looks reversed. He's not mature. Shut up, Jesse. Still, we didn't know. Yes, of course. The tea on the tree, the drink that changed us eternally. That's our secret key that locked us tight. But I still don't understand. Enough! 
Right. We're not aging, we're not growing, and none of us know why. Once upon a time, we drank from your spring, and now we'll never die. And that's the story of the tux. The end. Spring made us immortal. Okay. I have a lot of questions. <laughs> Starting with, where is this cat? Uh, he is now the ultimate stray. Every kitten for 50 miles has his little white paws. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How can I be sure you're not just telling me a story? Oh, that's the easy part. Ma, where's my rifle? When he can shoot me. No, 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 It's true! That's a music box my Nana heard, back when she was my age. Oops. <laughs> well, apparently I need Winnie's great-grandfather if I want to catch anything. Yeah. Found it! Wait, no, no, just... <laughs> you shot your father! Jesse, I told you not in this house. Didn't you get hurt? Oh, no, honey, I'm fine. Nothing hurts us. Not physically, anyways. What else can you do? Can you fly? No. But he certainly tried. Head first. It must be so much fun to be you. It is! Not exactly. Not at all. You see, it's not fun to be without your boys ten years at a time. Why do you go so long apart? If we're seen together for too long, people start to realize we don't age. Tends to scare the locals. You could never scare me. Now I have about a million more questions. <laughs> I think that is enough for one night. Her mother must be worried sick. I'd be willing to take her back right now. At this hour, she must be exhausted. And she thinks we're fun. Can I stay, please? I don't know. I do not think it is okay to keep her here overnight. We'll take her back first thing in the morning. You have my word. What we need right now is her word. Winnie, do you promise you won't breathe a single thing about us to a living soul, ever? She can sleep on it. For now, let's get you out of this scratchy dress. You could tell my dress was scratchy? A mother can always tell. Let's go find you something in the attic. Oh my god. <laughs> now listen, I hate to be the voice of reason here, but if somebody finds out about the water, they could play God with it, or worse. Miles, stop. Stop making every good thing seem like, seem like it's the end of the world. It's easy to say when you've never looked out for anybody else but yourself. That's what you think of me? And who says I think of you? That was wrong of me to imply that you're always selfish. You're an amazing uncle and sometimes I think about that. Not natural how much that boy has lost. He's not the only one. I used to have a brother. Hey, you'll always have a brother. Now come on, sit down. Tell me everything since the day you left. Are you sure, Pa? Gambling? Bar fights? Jesse, I don't get out of the house much. Don't skip a thing. Okay, but first, breathing contest! <gasps> is an embarrassment. I have had 100 years to tidy it up, but when you don't have guests, why clean? We never have guests, and all we do is clean. Mother says that good girls don't complain about chores. I like your mother. Don't tell anyone, but so do I. It is so nice to have a girl around to talk to, but I wouldn't give to have a daughter. I'm not so sure you'd want me. Now why do you say that? Before I ran away, I told my mother I hated her. She didn't believe it for a second. You mean it? Cross my heart. Now, you rummage through this trunk and see what you can find. How about these? Oh, look at those. 
You were this. Oh. Ow. Or this. No, I couldn't. <laughs> it's beautiful. Was it yours? It still is. And I bet it still fits, because between you and me, the water did wonders for my figure. <laughs> Was it a special dress? I wore it on the day that Angus asked me to marry him. Oh, we went dancing. There were wildflowers on every table, musicians in the corner, and oh, we danced all night until the floor shook. <laughs> that man used to love to dance. I miss him. My father couldn't dance at all, but it didn't stop him from trying. <laughs> Isn't it nice when a memory makes you smile? It is. But what if I start to forget it? Impossible. Besides, your best memories haven't even happened yet. You think? I know. Every grown woman who stands at a mirror remembers one beautiful day. Every girl past her prime knows a date and a time she looked most exquisite. And she will revisit, revisit, revisit that day, her most beautiful day, for the rest of
What happens now? Bed happens now for all of us. You expect me to fall asleep after everything that's happened today? I know just what you mean. We have not had this much excitement in, well, who knows how long. But try to get some rest. I will. Good night, Winnie. May? Yes? Am I safe up here? The safest. I promise. Good night. Good night. A night in a house that's clearly haunted. That's the price you pay, getting what you wanted. One small step outside your door leaves you wide awake on an attic floor. Not quite what I had bargained for. And yet I take a little more. Boo! Jesse, unlike you, some of us can actually be scared to death. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just I was thinking about going on a secret adventure. Anyway, sit tight. Wait, wait. What kind of adventure? Any kind you want. Now, the first rule of sneaking out is, do whatever your parents would say not to do. That would be the fair. Jesse, can we go to the fair? Excellent choice. So what's the plan? You climb out this window, and we'll meet you downstairs. Why aren't you going with me? Because the second rule of sneaking out is, we gotta wear disguises. Sounds good. Wait, Winnie! The third rule of sneaking out is, don't get caught. Going somewhere? Nowhere special. Mm-hmm. Um, Mr. Tuck? Call me Angus. Okay, Mr. Angus, you do know that in order to catch a fish, you need water, right? Good tip. Now, um, I'm working on my technique. What's your alibi? My alibi? That's Latin for why are you sneaking out of my house? Oh, just getting some fresh air. Oh, I bet you are. One. Two, three. Come on, Winnie. Let's go before we get caught. This must be your fresh air. Pa, I know what it looks like, but... Oh, this ought to be good. He's taking me to the fair. Oh, he is, is he? Pa, the least we can do is show her a good time. She's our guest. Mother wouldn't like this. Don't think about that right now. Um, think of funnel cakes and carnival rides. Well, now I want to go. <laughs> My father used to love the fair. What do you mean he used to? Oh. Winnie. Go, both of you. You mean it? I mean it. Go have some fun for old time's sake. As long as you keep an extra low profile. Yes! <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Angus! Bring me back a funnel cake! Join the parade, fall in line for the fair. Before the sun sets, before we roll on. Ladies and gents, our midwife has sent. A tonic for the woe be gone. Come to the fair, the best day of the year. They say it will last. Well, Sonny, they're right. It's a merry men make up, filling a neck up. But the tent comes down tonight. Wow, it's even better than I remembered. Jesse, I'm so glad we snuck out. Am I good or am I good? You're the best. What should we do next? You lead the way this time, kid. I've been almost everywhere except the fair. Everywhere? Almost everywhere. The pyramids, the Brooklyn Bridge, the Rio Grande, the Rhine. I've seen the seven wonders of the world. Can't wait for eight and nine. But because of my predicament, my peculiar situation, to keep my profile low, low, low. I'm a one-man operation. Jesse, I've got it. You need a partner in crime. Someone to share in the view. Oh, I see the world in all of its glory. Stand at my 
fight Why should the road be long and lonely? Why not team up? We've only got tonight If no one's there to hear it Does a falling tree make sound? Are we heard or seen or anything Without a friend around? The old great wall, the Taj Mahal Yes, they all have merit But this trap fair could take the cake Because you get to share it Care it? You need a partner in crime partner in crime Someone to Someone share, to share. Feed the hungry clown! Feed the hungry clown! One and three win a prize. Say, you see the little girl around here? It's a fair, what do you think? Smile out of Come on, you go, let's look over there. With you, the fun is two for one and chock full of surprises. With you, the fine most twice the best and no one realizes. Do whatever we do now, well, merit reminiscing. With you, I finally feel somehow that something to play fool the guesser i guess your age wrong and you win a prize Tracy, you don't want to play that game trust me i haven't won you a prize yet watch this does he know well if no one's brave enough joke's on him bet you can't guess my age Tracy, sir wait. well what do you know it's that 11 year old spitfire from this morning let's see if your friend's age is as easy to guess as yours is all right examine the height consider the shoe size but the answer is always in the eyes. Yes, sir, the answer is always in the... Well? 17, am I right? That's it, you got it. First wait, try. wait, wait a minute. How old are you really? I'm 17, like you guessed. Of course, I'm never wrong. And I always quit when I'm on top. Thanks, folks, for coming out tonight. Uh, good night. Oh, good night. Hey, 17. You're not gonna let your little friend go home without a prize now, are you? How about this, girl? You like it? 
Yes. Thank you. And how about this old man? You like it? Run when you run! Oh, I just want to ask a few questions is all. You do not scare me. Oh, really? Because you sure look scared to me. Ha! My God! It's you! It's actually you! What's going on here? Nothing, just a little misunderstanding is all. Hugo, where are you going? I smell a rat. Forget the rat. We have to find Winnie. Come on. Marty, ahead of you, Hugo. Wait up. I was so afraid you wouldn't get away. I may be 102, but I can still outrun anyone. I'm so sorry. I tried to warn you. No, no. It's okay. It's refreshing having somebody look after me who isn't Ma. But Jesse, that man came by my house this morning. He heard the music box. He knows about you. I know he knows. Looks like the family reunion's over early this year. It won't be the first time. But you just got here. You're the first real friend I've made in- And forever? Yes. Believe me, I know. So is this goodbye then? Maybe not. Ma, Pa, and Miles, they're stuck in their past. They don't know how to enjoy anything anymore. But you? You thought it was amazing to climb a tree. Imagine seeing the Egyptian pyramids, the Eiffel Tower. The world? Exactly. But Jesse, I'm not even allowed to play in my woods. I can never go on those kinds of adventures. Believe me, I have that all figured out. Six years from now, you will turn 17, turn 17, the same age as me. Six years from now, go to the spring, go to the spring. And drink, I'll wait for you till you turn 17, turn 17, the same age as me. Six years from now, go to the spring, go to the spring, and drink. What if I forget where the spring is? I'll go get you some water. Just remember to keep it somewhere safe. Somewhere where no one will find it. You make the world sound so exciting. I just want to drink the water right now. No, you have to wait. Why? What's the difference? Believe me, there's a difference. Winnie, wait with me, and we could be married. Winnie, wait with me, and we'll share the world. Winnie, you can stop time and live like this forever.